Welcome to another episode of Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony, and with this channel, I try to bring you guys a variety of tech-related content. So, if this is your first time here, be sure you subscribe, and make sure you hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. In today's video, we're going to do an Apple recovery from a time machine backup that's stored on a Synology NAS. Okay guys, so in the past, I did a video on how to backup your Mac using Time Machine to a Synology NAS. But what happens in the event of a crash or corruption, or let's say you just want to bring your Mac back to an earlier point in time? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to restore using Time Machine from a Synology NAS, and we're going to begin that process right now. We will be working with a 2012 21.5 inch iMac that we're going to boot into Apple recovery mode in order to restore the Time Machine backup from the Synology NAS. To boot into Apple Recovery Mode, simply start up the computer, wait for the Apple startup chime, then press and hold the Command and the letter R keys until the Apple logo appears on the screen. Once the Apple logo appears on the screen, you can release the keys and wait for the computer to boot up to the Mac OS utility screen. This should take between two and two and a half minutes. Okay, so we are successfully booted into recovery mode and we're looking at the Mac OS utility screen. Now, that took about two minutes to boot up. From this screen, we have several options. We can restore from Time Machine Backup, which is what we're going to do for the purpose of this video. You have the option of reinstalling the Mac OS and when you start up with Command R and go into recovery mode, this option will restore the previous latest version that you had installed on your machine. You have the option for getting online help as well as running disk utility to repair or erase a disk. Again, for the purpose of this video, let's move forward with restore from time machine backup. Let's click continue. The next screen just gives you some information about restoring from time machine and it says simply to restore your system from a time machine backup or local snapshot. Click continue and follow the instructions. So we're basically going to go through a several screen wizard. So let's click continue. On this screen, we're asked to select a restore source. So I'm going to click Tony Time Machine Backup and notice it says on home NAS. So it is stored on the Synology NAS, which is what we want. Let's click connect. And now this screen is asking us or, or telling us that we are attempting to connect to the server home NAS.local, which is our network server. So we're going to click connect. And now we need to authenticate and you have to sign in with the your Synology NAS username and password, not your computer password. Okay, it's successfully authenticated. And now on the Synology NAS, it found the Tony iMac on disk Tony Time Machine Backup. So let's select that and click continue. And now it's accessing the Time Machine Backups that are stored on the Synology NAS. Remember, this is happening over a network, so be patient. And there you go. It took a little time, but it did find all of the backups that are stored on my Synology NAS. And you can see uh, March 1st was the last backup that I did before I took this computer out of service. I can go all the way back to December 22nd of 2017 if I want to restore to an earlier point in time. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to select the first backup in the list, March 1st, 2019, and click Continue. Now we need to select the destination. So I'm going to click the Macintosh hard drive. It just confirms that the system will be restored onto this disk. That's fine. We're going to click restore. The disk Macintosh hard drive will be erased. Are you sure you want to continue? And we're going to click erase disk. And now the rest restoration process has begun. You can see here it's erasing the Macintosh hard drive. Once the hard drive has been erased, then it will begin restoring files. 
And as you can see here, the restoration has begun. It's calculating the time. I imagine this is going to take quite some time since I'm doing a complete machine restore. So I will come back once the restoration process has completed and we'll check out and see how it worked. Okay guys, the restoration from the time machine backup on the Synology NAS has completed successfully. The whole process took, in my case, about an hour and 45 minutes based on about a half a terabyte capacity used on my Macintosh hard drive. Your results obviously may vary. In any event, the process did complete. The computer rebooted and we're here at the login screen. So we're gonna go ahead and log in and just make sure everything is working correctly. Okay, that took a few minutes to actually come up. We're prompted with the screen to sign in uh, with my Apple ID. I'm going to skip that and set that up later for now. And there you go, guys. There's the desktop. I'm not sure how much of it you can see and can't see, but I have a couple of files, folders here, a couple of things on the side here, maybe that are off screen. I'll move them center uh, so that you can see. Uh, Synology Drive is now running. I'm connected to the internet. So looks like we have a successful restoration. So now you know what's involved in restoring a time machine backup from a Synology NAS in the event you have to perform this task. No more guesswork involved. You've seen the task firsthand. So I hope you found it helpful. And if you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Always remember to subscribe, like, and share. And I really do appreciate you guys using those Amazon affiliate links. I know it doesn't change your price, but it really does help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching. See you next time.